Okay, so when you first log in, you gotta go through the quick setup. And so that'll be internet connection type, wireless setting, summary, and test internet connection. You also have LED log out and reboot right here. And I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna go to uh, basic. Some information I won't be able to show, so but here's the internet router. There's wire clients that shows you how many wireless printer USB. There's internet status connected. Connection type. Network map, internet, wireless, USB settings, parental control, and guest. I'll show more into more detail into that without showing any pretty much information on my end. Okay, so I press the router, the icon right there, and do this carefully. Not show any information, and it shows pretty much your uh, wireless SSID channel, Mac, Mac. So go back up here, and here's the guest information. I don't use guests, so. I'll press the next thing, which would be the wire clients and then wireless clients, or wireless you know, printer, USB. Then you can also press the 2.4, the 5, and the 5 slash 2. So when you press wire, wire client, you'll have the wire client, and you'll have the ID, name, IP address, and MAC address, and right underneath it, you'll have like one, two, and it'll give the all the information. So I'm gonna do the wireless next. Okay, so I press the wireless, so it has a host client, so I have ID, name, IP address, MAC address. Let me, uh, just carefully. And so it shows your ID and the numbers, and that gives them all the information. And I also have like guest ID. Okay, so I press the printer, so it gives me per name if I had it connected. I'll press the USB. And so have the USB disk total available. Okay, prior to that, all of that was in the network map and the basic. Here's the internet. So you can auto detect, internet connection type. And you can pick static, pretty much um, dynamic, PPOE, L. TP, PPTP, yeah, that. And here's some more information. So I press wireless, wireless sending, that'll give you all the information here in network. And you can also hide it. There's a little button on the right. Let's see if I do this right. There, the very left, and so you can hide your your um, SSID. Okay, here's the sharing our USB 3G, 4G region, mobile dial number, username, and here's sharing. Here's print server. Here's parental control. Remember this is all in the basic to the left. So parental control. And here's uh, guest network. I'll use guest network so it doesn't matter. That's the default settings. 
I'll do advanced next. Give us a status so you have your all this information. I'll have your your internet, wireless, LAN, guest network, USB device, performance, wire clients, wireless clients. I'll do the next thing. Okay, this is the internet. And so you have the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, primary DNS, primary D D and secondary DNS. Let me. And so you have this at the bottom. Your default MAC address. So you have LAN, and the LAN will have some information. I make the MAC address, IP mask. So. Okay, so IPTV, here's all the old information. So that shows the server, IP address pool, address lease time, default gateway, primary, and it also shows other information like address reservation, DHCP client, So show all your clients. Here's the dynamic DNS. Here's the advanced routing. That's um, system routing tables, st st static routing. And then the wireless next. So the wireless has um, there were name, security, encryption, password mode, channel width, channel transmit, transmit power. It also has the top smart connect. That's two four two point four five five gigahertz two. WPS so it has router pin and it has the router pin your WPS you can also generate or default it wireless schedule turn it on and off Turn it on. Here, I'll show you how. So, you do the time statistics. So, here's all the information. Here's the gas again. Here's the net forwarding. Virtual server. Port trigger. Triggering. DMZ. UP NP. Here's the USB setting. Device setting. You can do a scan. Here's uh, share access. And so you have like your. Uh, 
username, password, share an account. Then there's uh, sharing settings. Let's see if I can get this on here. And then there's a uh, folder sharing. Next, I'm going to do is print server. Here's the print server. Here's parental control. Then Q QoS. So you can set your QoS. Rule list. Database. And security. Here's security. Firewall. DOS protection. Next access control. Here's the access mode. Blacklist, whitelist. And then shows all your online devices. Refresh, block. IP Mac binding. So right there, ARP binding. It also shows your ARP listing and binding list. Here's the IA IPv6. That's just your internet, your LAN, VPN server. So, some of the information. Generate, save. Here's the PPTP VPN. Here's a VPN connection. Here's your time settings. Diagnostic. So you can run diagnostic. Firmware upgrade. I would suggest upgrading to the newest firmware. I actually have a release of the firmware now. New one. Here's backup and restore. Here's uh, administration. So account management, password recovery, local management, remote management. System log, I'll have system log, log filter, so here's traffic statistics, and the system parameter.
parameter. So, so I'll have like as information. The PS enabled, DOS protection, duplex. and LED.